Hello everyone, I hope you're all well at home and you're all busy doing your phonics and your maths that I've set you. I have come on to read us a story because we're learning this term all about people who can help us. And um, we thought of some of those the other day. We thought of police and firefighters and paramedics are the ones that we looked at the other day. And we're going to look at one of those today. And the one that I've picked is firefighters. So we're going to have a look at this story, Topsy and Tim meet the firefighters. Have you ever met a firefighter? I met one the other week. I went shopping in Morrison's and parked in the car park was a fire engine. And my little boy loves fire engines. So we went over and we had a little look. And next minute out of Morrison's came the firefighter. And do you know what he'd been in to Morrison's for? He'd been buying his dinner and he was buying pizza and chicken goujons for him and the firefighters back in the fire station. So here is the story of Topsy and Tim. They've both got on their helmets. Some of you found those yesterday when you were looking for your sounds around your house. One morning when Topsy and Tim were on their way to school, they heard a fire engine coming. Eno, Eno. It raced past them. Sirens sounding and blue lights flashing. All the other traffic got out of the way. Everyone knew that the firefighters were hurrying to put out a fire. Kerry's dad is a firefighter, said Topsy. I expect he is on that fire engine. Can you see all the fire firefighters sat inside the truck? These ones are all ready to go look with their helmets on to protect their heads. And Topsy and Tim are having a look and look, their blue lights are flashing. But Kerry's dad was not on the fire engine. It was his morning off and he was taking Kerry to school. Topsy and Tim told him about the fire engine they had seen. They're called... Fire appliances, not fire engines, said Kerry. There's an open day at my fire station on Saturday, said Kerry's dad. Would you like to come and see all the, our fire appliances? Yes, please, said Topsy and Tim. On Saturday, Topsy and Tim and Mummy set out for Belford Fire Station. There they are. Off they go in their car. Oh, wow. Have a look here. And they're sat inside, oh, pretending to drive. And look what's going on up here. There's their great big ladder. Sometimes you see on Fireman Sam him using one of those to rescue someone like Naughty Norman Price from up on the rooftop. There were lots of children at the fire station. Firefighters in yellow helmets were looking after them. Topsy and Tim soon found Kerry and her dad. Kerry was waiting to go up on a long turntable ladder. Topsy and Tim wanted to go up too. A firefighter helped them all into a cage on the end of the ladder. He gave them safety helmets to wear. And up they go, look. It helps firefighters reach very high. If there's a fire high up in a building, they can go up in their long ladder and they can put out the fires. Or they can rescue people maybe that are stuck in high places. Oh, here they are, look, with their, their helmets on. A firefighter at the back of the appliance pulled the lever and the ladder started to go up. It grew longer and longer and went higher and higher until the people on the ground looked as small as toys. We hose water down onto a burning buildings from up here, said the firefighter. And rescue people from high windows and roofs, said Kerry. Oh, can you see the fire station down there? Here's the fire engines. And look, the people look so tiny because they're so high up. When they came down from the ladder, Mummy bought them each a little firefighter's helmet. I'm going to be a firefighter when I grow up, said Kerry. Can girls be firefighters, asked Topsy. I don't think so, said Tim. Yes, they can, said the lady who was selling the toy helmets. 
I'm a firefighter, just like Kerry's dad. Women can be firefighters, but they have to be strong and as brave as the men. To show how strong she was, she gave Tim a fireman's lift. Oh, look, she, she's picked him up and she's given him a fireman's lift. That's how firemen or fire ladies will carry people if they go into a fire and they find somebody on the floor and they might be injured. They'll put them over their shoulder like that and give them a lift out of the building to make sure that they're safe. Let's have a little look. A man working on his computer. Oh, and what's this? It's the fireman's pole. Kerry's dad took them to see how the fire station worked. When there's a fire and someone phones 999, he said, we get the message on a printer. A loudspeaker tells us where to go and which appliances to take. Alarm bells ring and the firefighters run to the appliances. If they are upstairs, they slide down a pole. It's quicker than running down the stairs. Look, they're all putting on all their, their firefighter clothing. So they've got their special trousers and they're getting their jackets on and their helmets to protect their heads. Kerry's dad lifted the children into the cab of the big fire appliance. They pretended to drive to a fire. Near the big fire appliance was a much smaller one. It's a baby fire engine, said Tim. It's a van full of rescue equipment, said Kerry's dad. We take it to accidents and rescue people from crashed cars and trucks. Kerry's dad showed them the tall tower where the firefighters practice with their ladders and hoses. When we have finished, we hang the hoses in the tower to dry, he told them. Next to the tower was a room that had been on fire. It made their noses tickle. We make smoky fires in there, said Carrie's dad. Then we practice putting them out and rescuing people. We have to wear masks and carry tanks of air on our back or we would choke. So can you see that's their special uniform? They've got all their, their clothes on, so they've got their jacket and their trousers, which will protect them from the, the fire. And then they also wear their helmet. And what's he got on his face here? This is a mask. And it look, can you see there's a little special pipe and it goes over his shoulder onto his back and there's a tank on his back. And inside it is oxygen, which is air. So that helps him to breathe because if he breathes in all this smoke, it would make him choke. So he's got this on with some special clean air so that he can stand there and put out the fire. Carrie took Topsy and Tim into a showroom full of fire dangers. It looked like an ordinary living room. See if you can spot where fires could start, said Carrie. Tim spotted an iron had been left face down. That could start a fire, he said. So leaving your iron like this because it's so hot. If you left it like that for a very long time, it could start a fire. Topsy spotted a box of matches on the floor. A naughty child might start a fire with those, she said. And that fire should be behind a fire guard, said Mummy. So can you say the matches are on the floor and matches are not for children to play with, are they? only for grown-ups. Oh, here they are. That looks like they're in a kitchen. Can you spot any dangers in the kitchen? Mummy spotted more fire dangers near a kitchen stove. Are smoke detectors any use, she asked Kerry's dad. I think I ought to get some. Kerry's dad showed them a smoke detector and it made it work. It made a loud bleep, bleep, bleep noises. If there was a fire in your home one night, the smoke detectors would wake you up, he said. We've got some smoke detectors, Kerry told Topsy. So people have smoke detectors in their houses and if it detects any smoke, then it might start beeping. Sometimes they beep if some grown-ups are cooking and maybe they're burning a piece of toast by accident and that might set off the smoke detector. But smoke detectors are helpful because they detect any smoke, which could be the start of a fire. 
It was time to go home. But before they went, Kerry's dad gave them one last treat. It was a ride round the fire station yard on a children's fire appliance. The clever firefighters had made it especially for their open day. And it went, Nino, Nino, just like a real fire engine. Oh, wait, now it says, now turn the page and help Topsy and Tim solve this puzzle. Oh, there they are. Oh, look, there's Topsy and Tim and they've both got a hose. And it's putting out the fire. Follow the hoses and see if you can help Topsy and Tim work out which one is putting out the fire. Oh, we'll see if I can do it with my finger, so I'll follow it along. Oh, is it this one? No, not that one. Let's try this one. Oh, not that one either. Let's try the bottom one. Hooray! There we go. There's the fire all put out, all nice and safe. Well done. Good listening, everyone. So, I want you to see if you can think back. Can you think of some of the jobs that firefighters do? They help put out fires. Well done. They might rescue people from high up places. They also might come to your house to check your smoke detectors for you. So there are lots of things that firefighters do to help us. Now, I wonder if this afternoon, after you've listened to this story, maybe you might have a dress-up firefighter's costume at home. If you do, maybe you could put that on. Uh, if you don't, don't worry. You could see if you can pretend that there's a fire somewhere and see if you can pretend to put it out and see if you can be helpful, just like the firefighters in our story. Take care, boys and girls. See you soon.